Mostly clear skies are expected tonight, which will give you an out of this world view of a lunar eclipse. Fox 11 meteorologist Phil DeCastro has details on why it's being called the blood moon. For the second time this year, we're in for a show in the sky above. A lunar eclipse is set to happen late tonight. Everything's going to happen after midnight. At about 4.15 tomorrow, the earth and moon and sun are about to line up with the earth blocking the light from reaching the moon. But sunlight still manages to peek around the edges of the earth, turning the moon a dark red. Our atmosphere is really good at scattering blue light, which is why our sky is blue. But that leaves only the red light to refract through the Earth's atmosphere and actually sort of get focused on the moon turning it red. The red color is not what makes this a blood moon, though. A blood moon is the first full moon after the harvest moon, and that makes this a blood moon. If you want to get a good look at this blood moon during the lunar eclipse, you don't need any special equipment, no binoculars, no telescopes. You don't even need to get away from city lights. You just have to walk outside during the early morning hours of Wednesday and have a good view of the western horizon. And without the full brightness of the full moon during this eclipse, you might notice something else happening. You have this full moon and you're kind of going, there's not that many stars. When it hits mid eclipse, all of a sudden you notice there's all these stars around the moon that our eyes just can't pick up due to the brightness change. As long as you can stay up late enough, or get up early enough, there will be plenty going on above the skies of northeast Wisconsin. Meteorologist Phil DeCastro, Fox 11 News. So, second lunar eclipse of the year, right? Yes, and it's just before sunrise, so it's going to be well out on the western horizon, and it, it may look fairly large because we're typically used to seeing the moon more straight up ahead. All right. If you'd like to check out the eclipse with a telescope, but you don't have a telescope, you can uh, go to the Barlow Planetarium on the UW Fox Valley campus in Menasha. They'll be hosting a watching party. Uh, you'll have to get up very, very early. Though. <laughs> very that early. Starts at 3 o'clock. Good luck on that. <laughs> and while uh, we uh, have a good view, the views will be better in some parts of the world compared to others. That was the case back in April. You might remember the last time there was a blood moon lunar eclipse. We resurrected a photo gallery from that one on fox11online.com. Just look for the news links section.